Welcome back to Palangi 21. Today I will show you a 2021 Canadian romantic comedy film titled Single All The Way. Peter is a gay man who works as a social media strategist and lives in Los Angeles. He was tired of his family that asking his status every year when he visited them for Christmas. This year is different, because he will be bringing his boyfriend Tim. But just before Christmas, he discovers Tim has been lying to him. His best friend Nick finds out when Tim and his wife hire him to be a handyman at their house. Peter is devastated, but he doesn't want to spend Christmas with his family without bringing a boyfriend. Peter hopes for Nick to come home with him for Christmas, and pretends that they are dating. Nick agrees, and they set off together. When they get there, they are greeted by Peter's mother Carol, before they can announce their fake relationship. Carol tells him that she arranged a blind date between Peter and her personal trainer named James. Peter accepts hesitantly after getting support from his mother and Nick. They then meet Peter's father Harold, who enlists Nick's help with fixing a pipe. The rest of Peter's family arrives. His sisters Lisa and Ashley and their respective families, and his aunt Sandy, who directs the annual children's Christmas pageant. They gather in the living room and talk about their lives. The next day, Peter goes on a date with James. They drink coffee together and then proceed to buy a Christmas tree together. When Peter comes home, his mother is excited to ask him about his date. Peter says that his date with James went well and even James also asked Peter for a second date. Meanwhile, Peter's father asks Nick to help move some things. When they are alone, Peter's father tells Nick he had always thought he and Peter would be perfect for each other, and Peter seemed happiest when he was with Nick. The next day, James will take Peter to go skiing with him. But at the same time, that day is a rehearsal for children's Christmas drama. Peter becomes torn between spending his time with James or with his family. But Nick tells him not to worry, because it seems like Peter really likes James. He tells him that he will be going to the children's Christmas drama rehearsal. Finally Peter goes skiing with James. But when they talk about their lives, Peter repeatedly talks about Nick. Meanwhile Nick goes to the children's Christmas drama rehearsal. During that time, Peter's niece tries to set Nick up with Peter because she feels that the two are in love. After his date, Peter meets with Nick in front of the house. Nick asks about his date with James. Meanwhile, from inside the house Peter's family watch the two through the window. Some of them agree that Nick and Peter actually fall in love with each other, but they don't dare to show it. Carol still doesn't believe that Nick and Peter are in love. She thinks that their relationship is just close friends. She hopes Peter continues his date with James. Meanwhile Peter tells Nick that he is starting to feel confused about spending his limited time, because he wants to date James and wants to be with his family. Then Peter tells Nick that he is considering moving back home, and perhaps not returning to Los Angeles. Nick is disappointed but he doesn't show it to Peter. The next day, Peter and Nick spend the day with accompanying the children to Christmas drama rehearsal. They also help Sandy with decorating the stage for the drama. Later, Peter's boss calls him to let him know that they are cancelling their latest advertising campaign. He tells Peter to create a new one even though he is currently on vacation. Peter's father who is trying to get Peter and Nick to spend more time together, suggests taking photos of Nick. At first Nick is reluctant because he doesn't feel suitable to be a model. But finally Peter manages to convince Nick and the photo shoot is successful. After that, James asks Peter to go out with him again. Peter's niece supports Peter and Nick's relationship. She forces Nick to confess to himself that he is in love with Peter. Later that night, Peter's niece pretends to be asleep in Peter's bed so Peter has to share the bed with Nick. The next day, Peter's niece talks to Peter about Nick. Peter tells her that he actually has feelings for Nick but is afraid that doing so could ruin their friendship. Then Peter's niece secretly tells Nick that Peter also has feelings for him. The day of the Christmas drama has finally arrived. Peter and Nick watch the Christmas drama from the side of the stage. Peter's parents see them together, and they agree that Peter and Nick love each other. After the drama ends, Nick invites Peter to talk. Nick confesses his feelings to Peter. But Peter is still afraid that their relationship could ruin their friendship. He tells Nick that he has decided to return home. Just then, James comes and interrupts their conversation. James invites Peter to head to the bar to celebrate the success of the Christmas drama. Meanwhile, Nick packs his bags and prepares to head back to Los Angeles. But he takes on one more job repainting a store whose owner is retiring. At the bar, James tells Peter that they are no match for each other. 
He says that he saw Peter and Nick during the Christmas drama, and realized they had a special relationship. Peter rushes home and finds that Nick has left. As he is about to follow him, he sees Nick's rental car in a shop. Nick tells him that he had paid the first six months rent as a Christmas present for Peter. Because he knows that Peter has always wanted to open a plant shop. Peter finally confesses his feelings. He says that he is in love with him and Nick is meant for him. Then they share a kiss. On Christmas Day, Peter and Nick announce that they are dating and plan to move there together. Peter's family supports them and feels happy for their love relationship. This gay romance film is suitable to watch during the holidays, because it has good and funny moments. Peter discovers that his boyfriend has been lying to him, but he doesn't want to be the only single person at Christmas. He takes his best friend Nick with him and pretends that they are in a relationship. When his mother set him up with her personal trainer, Peter and Nick question their feelings for each other. They like each other but are afraid to express their feelings because it could destroy their friendship. This film presents a love story with a happy ending that everyone liked. Each character is made to be kind and positive so that no one looks bad, and makes this film likable. I like Jennifer Coolidge because she gives a humorous feel. They managed to create a beautiful backdrop for this heartwarming romantic Christmas film. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notification.